Let's solve natural numbers a, b, and c, given that 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c is equal to 148. We'll say a is the biggest, followed by b, and then c. So our first step will be for us to take the smaller one with the smaller power, that is 2 to the power of c. We'll multiply and divide 2 to the power of c by the left hand side. So this is 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c. This is equal to 148. Now we'll take this 2 to the power of c and divide it by individual terms inside of the brackets. So we have 2 to the power of c times, so this will become 2 to the power of a divided by 2 to the power of c plus 2 to the power of b divided by 2 to the power of c plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of c. This is equal to 148. Now we are going to be applying the law of indices that says that when I have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of m minus n. By the way, this is a power law of indices. Let's apply that here. So we have 2 to the power of c times, this expression now becomes 2 to the power of a minus c plus this becomes 2 to the power of b minus c plus this expression becomes 2 to the power of c minus c. This is equal to 148. And we know c minus c is 0 and if we have to put 0 here, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So I'm going to be putting 1 here. That is it. So now notice that 2 to the power of c is always even because whatever power 2 is raised will always give you even. So this is even plus even will give you even number. Then when we add 1, it makes what we have inside of the bracket to be odd. So even times odd to give 148. So we need two factors. 1 even, 1 odd to multiply to give 148. And what comes to mind is 4 times 37. So this will be 4 times 37. Good. That means 2 to the power of C, which is the even, is equal to 4. Why? What I have inside of the bracket, 2 to the power of A minus C plus 2 to the power of B minus C plus 1 is equal to the odd that is 37. Now let's work this. So this will be 2 to the power of c equal to 4 is same as 2 squared. Bases are equal. That means the powers must be equal. So c is equal to 2. So we've got the value of c. Now here we're going to be moving 1 to the right hand side. So we have 2 to the power a minus c plus 2 to the power b minus c to be equal to 37 as one crosses it becomes minus 1 and 37 minus 1 will give 36 so we're going to be having 36 here good now we will rewrite this rewrite this using the power law of indices that means this can be written as 2 to power a over 2 to power c plus this will be 2 to power b over 2 to power c. This is equal to 36. Now since the denominators are the same, we'll combine the fraction. So it will be 2 to power a plus 2 to the power b all over the common denominator 2 to power c. This is equal to 36. Now recall that we've got the value of c to be 2. So we can impute that here. Value of c to be 2. And 2 squared will give us 4. So we're going to be having 4 here. Good. So we can cross multiply. And cross multiplying, we're going to have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b to be equal to 4 times 36. 4 times 36 will give us 144. So I'm going to be putting 144 here. That is it. Now we'll repeat the same process as we did 
in the beginning. The lowest value here is 2 to the power b. So we're going to be multiplying and dividing the left hand side by 2 to the power b. So 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b times 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b is equal to 144. So we can take this 2 to the power b and divide it with each term inside of the bracket. So we have 2 to the power b times 2 to the power a divided by 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b. This is equal to 144. Now 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b is 1. So we have 2 to the power b times. Now applying the power law of indices, this can be written as 2 to the power of a minus b plus 1. This is equal to 1. Four, four. Now, 2 to the power b is even. Now, 2 to the power a minus b will always be even. Then when we add 1, it will be odd. So, even times odd gives 144. So, we look for two factors of 144. One will be even and the other will be odd. And what are those factors? What comes to mind is we have 16 times 9. 16 times 9. So that means we're saying that this 2 to the power b, which is even, is equal to the even factor, 16. Why 2 to the power a minus b plus 1 will be equal to the odd factor, 9. So this will be 2 to the power b equal to 16 is same as 2 to the power 4. So which means that b is equal to 4. Since the bases are the same, the powers must also be the same. Now here we can move one to the right hand side so that we have 2 to the power a minus b to be equal to 9 as 1 crosses to becomes minus 1. And we know that 9 minus 1 is 8 so we're going to be having 8 here. Now rewriting we can say 2 to the power a minus b is equal to 8 can be written as 2 cube. Now since the bases are the same the powers must also be the same. So we have a minus b to be equal to 3. We've got the value of b to be 4. So that means I'm going to be putting 4 here in place of b. Now let's move this negative 4 to the right hand side. So we have a to be equal to 3. As negative 4 crosses, it becomes positive 4. So 3 plus 4 will give 7. So I'm going to be having 7 as the value of a so the values of a b and c from what we've got we've got a to be 7 b to be 4 and c to be 2 that is it so you can see that a is greater than b b is greater than c and that is our final result but if you want to test you can say okay the given question if we're checking we have 2 to power a plus 2 to power b plus 2 to the power c to be equal to 148. So now we're going to be replacing the values there. So a is 7, b is 4, y c is 2. So 2 to the power 7 is 128. So I have 128 here. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So this is 16. Then 2 to the power 2 is 4. So I'm going to be putting 4 here. So 128 plus 16 plus 4 will give 148. Which means our values for A, B and C are actually correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.